Scorpio, 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 and Cross Watcher. This is your April reading of 2020, which is this current year. Huzzah! Anyway, this is for the sign of Scorpio in the positions of Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, you just boop your nose, way it goes, because there's no point worrying about shit that ain't none of your business and got nothing to do with you, but you're Scorpio and why wouldn't it be your business? Fuck. Why wouldn't it be? It's there, you know? Anyway. <laughs> you know, in the Vedic astrology, I am actually a Scorpio rising. Which explains a lot, but it's weird, because like when I do deal with Scorpio, it seems like we both know that there's something up with each other, much like I feel with Capricorn as well, since I'm a Capricorn sun and tropical astrology, or like the seasonal shit, as Americans follow, usually. Uh, which I think a lot of other people follow, but I'm not entirely sure. I might be ignorant on that, you know? But like, it's the whole like knowing what someone could be potentially up to, and being able to smell that shit out in an instant, you know? Like, plus I got an Aquarius moon. Or a Capricorn moon, a Sagittarius sun, and Sagittarius rising. Follow that if you can, but I'm sure somebody won't. Which will probably be me when I watch this video back. But anyway, Scorpio, right? I can't tell if you're living through a heartbreak or if there's one in somebody's fucking head. It's so goddamn dramatic. There's no way I wouldn't think that this is like part of your energy, Scorpio. I almost feel like this is you in this reading, which, you know, I try not to say with a lot of signs, but someone's going through some shit. Someone's going for dramatical digs in order to save a bitch, and there might be heartbreak that you might not survive. This is the only sword without blood on it. It's fighting a monster to save some naked bitch who somehow got chained and did not freeze to death in the middle of the night by some water. Maybe it's the summertime. Maybe that's why it's going. Maybe it's around Greece, because that's the Mediterranean, Mediterranean, and shit goes crazy there, right? Right. So, hold on while I undo my booty shorts, because, like, I ate earlier, and, uh, it's actually after midnight. Actually, it's one o'clock. It's like the witching hour. Anyway, I got till three. We're gonna have fun tonight, right? Right. Anyway, so let's see, Scorpio. The vibration and energy... There might be a fire sign, but I do feel like this is you in this reading. Um, someone who, you know, their pleasantries uh, are vague, but their desire with that big ass stick definitely says something. And that shit just did not work in their favor. It actually fucked up the world, right? Down below in the situation, there's a Three of Cups energy, maybe a group of people or some fun times, but there seems to be some sneakery going about. There's somebody having some fuckery and they're looking right at this Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, right? Maybe somebody's thinking some shit. Maybe somebody's, like, communicating things that, like, other people wouldn't entirely notice, but there's two swords sitting here and people are leaving clues. You might be noticing that, or this Queen of Pentacles who, um, has her pentacle right here hasn't noticed it yet. This dude's looking back at her like he's hoping she she is isn't worried about anything but her pentacle, if you will, right? Wants and wishes. Nine of pentacles, which mind you, with the queen would be the ten. There's supposed to be some sort of family unit here. But it's not happening for some reason, or someone doesn't want it to happen, right? And that's because this Queen of Pentacles, as focused she is on her pentacle, um, I think she wants to come out of her shell, but she's extremely paranoid. Or she's learning to let her guard down as people come up, but for some reason this dude's watching like, is she going to notice me? Like, she's busy trying to, uh, or like, she, it's like she's busy trying to figure something out in a way. And this dude's busy trying to get away with shit while she isn't paying attention. So, I don't know if you're looking at that, Scorpio, or if you're involved in this, but I feel like you're very much involved. Either that or you're watching this show in this theater right here. Fears and rejections, right? Someone's got a judgment call about having regrets, you know? Like, only one person's hearing this shit, right? I think it's you. I think you're listening to things on a more, uh, come here. I don't know. It's like you're almost being chosen to witness something and you feel bad about how things are going, but you're like, I gotta go. I gotta get on the get the fuck over a bridge and go to the mall and buy some shoes. Because these ones are dirty. These, the, all this shit just got spilled over. 
But I thought it was like, you know, I, I, I kind of see that too, Scorpio, because like there were times when you, um, it's sometimes Scorpio, and I'm not saying for all of you, but I shouldn't have to because we're adults here. Because if you don't do that, I shouldn't have to remind you that you don't do that, right? But Scorpio, sometimes, just just on occasion, you kind of do some stuff to cause information to come out because you guys are about secrets, uh, the darkness, like, you have to know things because, like, it's there and you just have to know. It's like, why why can't I just know? I know it's a secret. I know it's there. I'm, I should be allowed to know what the fucking secret is, God damn it. You know, like, you will sting people to get that information, but sometimes there are things that you do to get to that information that could cause you to sit there and be like, fuck. Ah, oh, dude, like, maybe I shouldn't have gone that far. You know, like, you kind of think about it afterwards, but then you just get over it and be like, fuck it. Yeah, I've noticed that with a lot of Scorpios I've known. Like, they regret it for, like, a minute, but then after that, it's like, ah, fuck it. Back to the desert I go with my Scorpion ass, you know. Then we got the Ten of Wands down here, right? With the Ten of Wands reverse. Which is like, and that's why I kind of feel like it's you, Scorpio, a little bit. Because I feel like this is really unfamiliar energy. You know, like carrying a burden because you can't get over the burden, you know. Uh, constant grief and guilt trip, you know. If that makes sense to you, I don't know. But that's just how I feel about it. It's like there's constantly some baggage that's being drug around. And, but this time it's the baggage that's like super heavy that like won't let your brain rest a little bit. And you're just like, God damn, like, get off my nuts, you know? Like, it happened a while ago. I know it was just a fucking week, but I should be over it after a week. You know, like, it gets on your nerves if you have to carry things around. Like, the only thing you ever want to carry on your back are your children. Because they're the most important things to you. Everything else could just, like, fucking rot. Because you can replace that. Or you don't need it. Like, you're a scorpion. You live in the fucking desert. It'll be okay. Like, there's nothing in the desert anyway, except for sand. And maybe a, a camel or two. Maybe a rabbit, you know? Alright, so the vibration and energy. Page of Wands with the world reverse. Somebody's uh, bravado. Did not bring the world the way it should have been. So now there are options now. Someone could easily, like, point in a certain way. And somebody could be looking shit up. Or looking for directions. But for some reason, no actions taken... By this person who is a magician who can manifest things. Mm. Is it this person who's pointing out the where they want to go, but the other person's too occupied with options? That's why a leap of faith is not taken, because someone's seems like they're relying more on their own power than anything. Scorpio. Like, is that the problem? Like someone who's more powerful than what you thought they were? Or they have more abilities than what you thought. They're not as... I don't want to say helpless, but like incapable. But helpless definitely came up. I don't know who the fuck said that, but somebody said it. Thank you for that, by the way. Because I wouldn't have thought of it. The situation. The three of cups with the seven of swords. There's some secrecy going on involved. Where someone was trying to get out of like some ten of swords situation, you know. They decided to end things, become a queen of pentacle. Here are this bitches. Huh. So the queen of pentacles is right here. What was that card I just dropped? She decided to end things, right? And she's rooted, so she's not fucking crazy. She's still this bitch who's all sad looking at her pentacle, right? But she's still the queen of pentacles. She's still stable. She's still a very strong old tree with a lot of fucking knowledge and is spreading. She looks sexy as fuck, too. Let's be clear. We can't see her tits. But we know they are there. That's how classy she is. But here it's like her reasons are there was a bad offer. Maybe she offered something bad when it came to producing this ten of pentacles and it seems like no love was given or maybe you stopped giving your love to them scorpio i'm not sure but it was definitely something about bad social etiquette but the social etiquette as well as the person who refused to offer the cup of love 
Um, both of these has something to do with building this world. Maybe you both had a very wrong approach about things, and that's why this Ten of Pentacles didn't come up the way it looked like it, but I'm not sure because it was like, I don't know if you were expecting emotional attachment or something from an Earth sign, particularly Capricorn, because the Queen of Pentacles is always my Capricorn card, because I am a fucking queen, after all. Um, but I don't know, like, they're both immature. Like, this one just seems more immature than this guy, and it's just like, if that's supposed to be the Queen of Pentacles, why would she be acting this immature and, and with bad social skills, you know? Like, Capricorns are pretty good at reading. Like, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of shitty. I like to get to know people before I actually approach them. But, you know, like, Capricorns usually have manners with people. And if we're able to joke with you, you better be able to take a fucking joke. Because we can say some really mean shit. Like, we are the mean friends of the Zodiac, but we love you. Dumbass, you know? But it's weird because, like, why does she look so immature in comparison to the Knight of Cups, dude? Like, is it somebody who you expected more from and then they showed you, like, no, they're a f fucking child at heart? Or, like, they just don't give a shit? Or I don't know. Because that's what's confusing me a little bit. Like, it's the Page of Pentacles, but they followed the Queen of Pentacles. So I assume this is how she behaved after she showed her rooted self showed her stable self maybe she partied too hard and said some shit i don't know um could be dealing with someone with a lot of earth in their chart or it could actually be an earth sign because definitely with the ten of pentacles but it was like something caused you to stop offering scorpio and i don't know what that is but the three of cups with the sneakery with the ten of wands reverse it's like Someone was trying to get away from something or escape some sort of torture. At least that's what the uh, swords represent, communication and mental thoughts. For whatever reason. Oh, so, oh, wait, 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 my bad. Trying. Uh, someone was trying to stay in bed too long with what made them secure and it, to the point where it made them too insecure to get out of bed to keep it going. It's like, um, uh, you know... You're too worried about going to work because you don't want to miss a chance to, like, save up on your money because you don't want to waste some money on gas. But then because, like, you don't go to work, you don't have money for gas. Or at worst, staying in bed because you don't want to waste the money, like, on the electricity or some shit like that. Or on the water. But then, like, you don't have the potential. I don't know if this is making any sense. And I guess it doesn't. But it's, like, the middle of the night. So, fuck it. You know. What I'm trying to say is, is like, someone slept with their in with the, what made them secure so long it made them insecure about leaving that position um it's like <clears throat> you're so worried for eight hours about someone stealing your seat because you got up move your feet lose your seat kind of shit you're so paranoid about someone stealing your awesome seat that you end up like sitting there for eight hours and there's a potential that you're probably gonna like have a really angry piss really angry piss that's what i'll say you held it for too long and now you have an angry piss and it caused the world to be all sorts of fucked up that was a weird fucking analogy fan man i swear to god like what the fuck yeah someone like bare i feel like someone barely got out of a mental trap that made them piss themselves and that was what's fucked up the world even more, I feel like. Alright. not Wants and wishes with the Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Reverse. Someone's trying to get out of the cold after they've been shut out. You know. To get a new beginning. Look at that. They're trying to, like, figure out a way to get the Ace of Wands, y'all. Scorpion cross lecture. That's kind of cool. Um, oh. Oh. Or just be like, fuck it, with the Queen of Swords, just be like, butterflies of death on you. She, 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 you know, like, she's not doing a shit at all. Um, like, someone's gonna get out of the cold. Like, wait, that, that definitely sounds like you, Scorpio. You just be like, you know what? I'm gonna get myself out by cutting out this Ace of Swords or Ace of Wands scenario, this new beginning, this new start. I'm gonna get out of the cold. For, with this new beginning, by just being like butterflies of death. Pee, pee, pee. I'm just gonna kill it. 
that's definitely a Scorpio thing. But your obstacle and challenge is like someone is kind of reaching out, you know, for some assistance after they've been guarded for so long, wounded for so long. They just don't know how to make eye contact, I feel like. Um, definitely have a lot of power, possession, possibly the same as this magician right here. Someone's able to manifest shit. Scorpio, and I think you, you weren't aware of their capabilities until you started getting to know them. You know, there's a decision that needs to be made about the Seven of Swords issue, though. Was she the sneaky one? Was the Queen of Pentacles the sneaky one? Scorpio and Crosswatchers? Is this what I'm reading right here? Um, in order to work some things out. Ooh. What is this? Using imagination for sure. Daydreaming. Oh. About the potential and shit. Hmm. Interesting. Who is this person she's protecting? Because I feel like that's her, but there's someone back here up to some shit, like, and then they're going to end up stabbing her in the back. Mm. There's something here, Scorpio, that I feel like you're witnessing or at least having an issue with. Like, this right here is so fucking dramatic, and that bothers me. You, know, you got a judgment call about the Five of Cups and your fears and rejection. I feel like you're the only one seeing what the fuck's coming, I feel like. Someone's looking for a reason to stay or a love proposal? Ew, whatever. <laughs> In order to quell their problems. But it doesn't. Like, it's still the Knight of Swords. Uh, reverse. This is that, and, and, like, I'm not, like, I don't understand why people think that, like, Sometimes people go and read cards absolutely reversed. As in, like, if the Nine of Swords right here is reversed, I would probably sit here and say, like, oh, they're losing their uh, anxiety and shit. And for me, it's like, no, that's not what it means. It means, like, this is, like, the root of the problem. And this is the heart of it. And it's like, this portion of it feeds off of this. It's a focal point. It's like if your higher self is dwelling on this, you're going to end up eventually like becoming dwelling on this for a long period of time. This is only what's doing. This is a reflection of how that's going about. So for me, what is below is very significant because it causes what's above to be notably the focal point of why it's happening. It's like a uh, subconscious and conscious thing. What you think... And what the fuck you say. You know. At least that's how I've always seen the cards. They're never really reversed. They're just speaking on a different level. And down here. The results of this person focusing. On all the disasters when it comes to this love proposal or whatever. Is creating a dramatization. Uh, this shit over here where it's all like, hey, why are all these bats flying over my head? I don't have a helmet. Oh, God, one's getting in my hair. It's right there, you know? But someone will feel in control of this shit. Or, like, someone's in control of this shit. Possibly in, definitely possibly in Aries, because the magician also represents Aries as well, but kind of weird. Let's see, Ten of Wands with the Ten of Wands reverse. You got four cards on it, I'll give you it. Um, someone's acting really immature but making very sweet music in order to invest some fruit into something, which is a goddamn attack in order to gain their happiness or to attack somebody during their happiness. I'm not sure, but that's kind of fucking rude, you know? What's the ending theme here with this dramatization of a heartbreaking situation? I feel like someone really isn't trying to save someone from a serpent because it's just like it's theater. Like, it, it literally looks like a theater curtain to me. I don't know about to you guys, but definitely to me. Oh, what a tangled web we weave in order to create this scenario. Scorpio, seriously, is this you? Because this sounds like some plot and shit, and you guys scheme and plot all the goddamn town. I've never met a 
fucking Scorpio who did not have a fucking plot. And the plot always thickens around you guys. And it's just like, God damn it. Fucking Scorpio. Enough with the... This is not a soap opera. This is not General Hospital. This is not Passions. I don't see a Teresa anywhere. It might be How Do You Get Away With Murder. Because it was, my, my, my landlady... It's been watching that show with me, and oh my god, that actually is really addicting. And it's like, oh my god, that defense is dirty. She's such a dirty, dirty bitch. I understand why she's doing it because of my fucking BPD, but fuck. <laughs> she's such a dirty fucking defense attorney. Really is. But she's really good at her job, too. So, that's the important thing. If she stopped lying every once in a while, though. But then again, it's like, they're not even really lies. It's just she's terrible at actually telling the truth because she's so busy lying so much or evading the truth or many things. I don't know. So let's see what's in the After Terror deck while I stop talking about shit. But, like, seriously, go watch that show because it's really addictive. Like, I really like it. I hope she didn't finish it without me because I'll just be like, fuck. Like, I really want to see what happens. They only got, like, two weeks left. <laughs> like, she just realized that she had to change the... Well, never mind. I won't say anything else because it's spoilers. It is really good. You guys will like it. There's a lot of sex in that show, too. Like, lots of fucking sex. Especially between, like, the gay guy and the one dude he's interested in. Which is, like, that's really cute. But it's, like, I'm so tired of looking at sex. It's just, like, I don't even want sex right now. Oh, my God, no. <laughs> All right. Um, the vibration and the energy, right? Someone wants to decide to go somewhere, but they're not taking a leap of faith because it's almost like they're concentrated on something else, right? They're listening for shit. Queen of Wands. Is the king out here? No, I don't think the king's out here at all. The king has been out here, but there's been plenty of fire. So. Someone's listening and not falling for temptation. Could be, definitely could be with a Capricorn, y'all. Um, someone might have left and left the other person like wondering like what the fuck you know one way or another either it's I don't know but it's like unbothered by it might be it could be definitely a Virgo too just saying that my mother um, but someone's definitely listening and not falling for the temptation right I'll drop one more because they've been left out in the code which is what they're trying to recover from in the wants and wishes Let's see the situation. Someone's trying to get out of a bonded situation, but they've slept in their piss for too. <laughs> they've held their piss too long, and now it seems like they're gonna piss their pants with the world reverse. Like this is the last thing I wanted. To <laughs> oh, that's some shit they gotta cut out. It's like stop holding. You're pissed that long. There's no reason. There's a toilet not 10 feet away. If someone takes your seat, sit on them. You know, piss on them. Like an arcade. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. But, but there's a queen of swords here who's ready to cut some shit out. Possibly walk away abruptly and leave the other person wondering what the fuck. Which is what the Eight of Cups was about earlier. Um, they have, like, Google Maps and they're ready to go forward. Right? Wants and wishes, y'all. Five of cup, five of no, not five of cups. Five of pentacles reversed. What's this one? Ace of wands, queen of swords. Yeah, you're definitely like deciding just to walk away from this shit and cut it the fuck out, Scorpios. Let's see. Uh, they, yeah, none of this shit's gonna work out. You might have turned to stone, or they turned to stone on you. Like, they came in childishly taking whatever from the bazaar, but unfortunately they got dropped from that because you realized that it was actually potentially a situation where they were dragging you through the fire, and you didn't like it. But now it's like communication could be really solved. Like, they could try with you, or you could try with them, but somebody's definitely turned to stone. And I feel like trust is gone a little bit when it comes to working situation out with partnerships or acquaintances. Maybe the love's gone in this. 
I mean, like, yeah, someone's going to turn to stone because they want to avert a tower. Someone isn't going to be in their feels. They're not going to be as human as you are or you them because they don't want to deal with the exact same situation before. Um, mm. It's all dramatic. You know, it was made very dramatic, if you will. Hmm. It sounds like my fucking neighbor, honestly. Little bitch. <laughs> Love him to death, though, but it does sound like my neighbor. Unfortunately for him. Of course. Of course. With my kingdom for a horse. There we go. This is actually my ex-husband ashtray, but I like it, so I'm keeping it. Should have got the other one, but fuck it. Whatever. Uh, let's see. Obstacles and challenges. Well, we got the Knight of Wands reverse. Someone failed at their tricks. Um, isn't he up here, too? Yeah, he is. So it's the same person. Okay. Two of Wands. Seven of Swords. Three of Pentacles. What did I say about this one? Hmm. I feel like she wants to work it out in some way, but dude here fucks it up and doesn't say the right things and says everything but the truth. Oh my. And, oh, it's a douchebag. It's a douchebag. He's a douchebag. That's why the Queen of Swords is out here upright twice. She's being the more logical one, Scorpio and Cross Watchers. Okay. She's the one making decisions who's a Scorpio. You're probably... Okay, so this is like you witnessing shit and how this shit's being woven together. This is literally the days of our lives in your backyard and you're so happy to... <laughs> you're so happy to watch this emotional drama go down and be like, yes! I need sustenance. Fucking energy vampire motherfuckers. There's nothing wrong with being energy vampires. I'm not prejudiced. I promise. <laughs> Just kidding. You guys aren't. I promise. At least I hope. I don't know. Some uh, quite a few that I knew. Quite a few Scorpios. Like one that was at my job not too long ago, like a few months ago, before like she faked another insurance scam thing. Um, definitely an energy vampire. She was definitely someone who started shit just to get off the, the, the just to get off on the shit, literally, on some sort of level. I'm not even sure, but there was something wrong with that bitch. All right. Fears of rejection, Scorpios and cross -watchers. But literally, not all Scorpios are like that. Like, you guys might be evil, but you're the cutest little evil things I know. I promise. <laughs> Alright, six of uh, swords reverse. Nine of swords reverse, the emperor. Mind you, the emperor plus the king of swords reverse is a douchebag. Someone wants somebody else to carry their mental burdens, but not their own. This is fears and rejections. But they keep fucking trying. They keep fucking trying. Are you serious? Like, they keep trying? Yeah, Scorpio and Crosswatch, you're gonna see... Like, yeah, they're gonna... This person... Scorpio, either you're gonna dump your emotions out and let this person know some shit, and then you're still gonna be looking at them, and then just be like, you know, I just forget it, and just dump your cup out, feeling like you're, it's not even worth it. But it's like, that's part of the cycle. It's like, you either have to turn cold in order to avoid this tower once again, because you're already in the five of pentacle position. Like, you're listening to motherfuckers. You're taking the action of sitting on your throne instead of going and getting somebody else's blood on your face because they pissed you off. You're just sitting there like, no, nah, I, I, I'm dealing. Like, I'm in the doghouse anyway. Fuck it. I ain't even getting involved. I got my own problems. I have my own issues. I can tell you whatever the fuck I want, but you aren't going to listen. Or Scorpio, you could just come in with all these emotions and, and into some shit that's none of your goddamn business, too. I don't know. You could do that. 
you're honestly allowed to do that at this point. Like, honestly, if you came in to a situation that has nothing to do with you, but it's dramatic as fuck, you could actually come in and drop some fucking advice in order to deal with all of this and quell it. The problem is, is don't involve yourself so much to where people think that you're making it about you or you're the star. Like, you guys are always tending in the backgrounds anyway. Um, this could be a moment for you to shine by being really humble and possibly helping somebody out if this isn't you. But if this is you in this situation, um, you're going to be frustrated as fuck because someone's pissing you off, I feel like. And I feel like they do it intentionally, especially with the devil reversed over here. Could be a Capricorn that's quelling you up, and it's just like, you need to fucking leave, or go the fuck home, or I don't know, but it's just like, go. Get the fuck away. <laughs> like, you get on my nerves. As it starts out, it'll end Scorpio and Crosswatcher. Page of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Five of Swords the sun this is a lot of mixture of cards like water isn't here really i don't think so hold on nine of wands no that's the ten of wands and the ten of wands that's right so let's see yeah there's no water in this whatsoever there's no emotion is someone talking some pretty words about investing but it's really a sneaky tactic tactic in only group in order to um if i could talk today thank you very much um in order to get their own happiness or go after someone else's happiness i feel like scorpio and crosswatcher and i feel like you're witnessing that um they're gonna play themselves <laughs> they're gonna fuck themselves up oh shit could be an air sign for sure because there is air all over this bitch it could be the queen or the king, but I'm pretty sure it's the king and the emperor. For sure. Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries. Fuck. Leo, Sagittarius. I forgot what the fucking signs were, okay? My bad. Uh, someone could have been left to drown, and it turns out they didn't drown at all. They learned how to swim in the middle of their death. And someone saw this coming, but they really were... And, and they shouldn't have expected it, which they should have. And I think they did. But now it's, like, fucking haunting them. And now they want to just ruin that other person's flagpole. It's just like, mine's ruined. You, I'm tearing yours up, you know? Like, little spoiled kids a little bit. But they play themselves. They get knocked off their own fucking horse, man. Door's still open and people are getting ready to leave. And people have to agree to disagree. Yeah. Well, someone's still coming in for a can of whoop ass. One more, and then we're done, Scorpion Crosswatchers. Because this has been long enough. I agree. Get to the fucking point! I know, I know. Hmm. Someone wants to come in with some chaos and just destroy everything, despite what it does to themselves, because someone's been chosen while the others were left for skeletons, and they're one of the skeletons, Scorpion and Crosswatcher. Someone ascended, and someone's mad because they got left behind as bones. To rot and walk the earth as nothing. Oof. Scorpio and Crosswatchers, what the fuck are you witnessing? I don't even think this is you now. I think you are, your energy's in here for a particular reason. Because you're witnessing a lot of this shit. Something dramatic is gonna fucking happen. It has been building and you've been excited. Oh boy. Oh, dudes. I wish I was in your shoes. I hope I'm not in this. I don't think I'm in this. Like, I'm really grateful that I don't have a lot of fucking water in my chart. And, like, I don't even think I do have any water in my chart. Except for maybe, uh... No, I have everything but water in my chart, I think. So none of you guys resonate with me at all. Which is, like, that's fucking great. That's awesome. I love you, water signs because you don't have anything to do with me that's great but yeah scorpio and cross watchers this has been the reading so if you enjoyed this please like share and subscribe if you want to no pressure of course i won't make you i'd greatly appreciate it though and i would love to have you as one of my audience thanks for watching i love you guys' faces and i will see you later take it easy bye bye